Common Grounds with the creative team behind Kentucky Kaiju. Now this thing has uh, what I would call comic origins, but it's not a sequential story. What would you guys call it as far as format? Uh, an illustrated fantasy field guide. An illustrated fantasy field guide. I'm glad I asked because I wouldn't have come up with that on my own. Yes. So uh, we've for... had a lot. We've had to write a lot of press releases. <laughs> so yes. You, you yes. came prepared. Good. Yes. Um, so for anybody who's not familiar, um, there's a lot going on in that title. So give people the elevator pitch, the the top of the Wikipedia page. What is first? What is a kaiju for anyone who doesn't know? And then what is Kentucky kaiju? John Park. All right, cool. Oh, I have not introduced you guys because I'm a terrible host. <laughs> this is Sean Pryor. Yes. This is Justin Stewart. Correct. And this is Tressa Bowling. Sean, what is a kaiju and then what is Kentucky kaiju? Okay, like uh, the abridged version, kaiju is a monster. Big old monster. Uh, like say for instance, if you're familiar with movies like Godzilla, uh, or if you're familiar with Pacific Rim, uh, things like the monsters in Pacific Rim and you know the big old robots that had to fight those uh, menacing monsters. So yeah, Godzilla is the kaiju most people would be familiar with. Yes, that is, yes. Uh, Godzilla, Mothra, those types of kaiju. So what is Kentucky Kaiju? Now what Kentucky Kaiju is, is that it takes the elements of said monsters and what we do, we take the state of Kentucky, mash it together into a beautiful sandwich that is the definitive visual illustrated, illustrated guide to the monsters of the bluegrass. So it kind of asks the question, if there were kaiju in Kentucky, what would they be? What Correct. would they look like? Who would they be? That sort of thing. Okay, so obviously right now, uh, local stuff is very popular, hence this show, Lex Rocks, talking about things I love about Lexington. Um, but just local in general is, is very marketable right now. So I would not have expected local giant monsters. <laughs> what, you guys have been published by Apex Publishing, which is a local publisher. Correct. Was that a tough pitch, or was it like walk in and he said it, and he's like, we're good, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, the latter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've, I've known the publisher of Apex for over 10 years, and I do a lot of his graphic design work uh, for the books that he puts out in his monthly magazine. And he's always wanted to do something, you know, with me on illustrations. Okay. And was a thing where I just couldn't I couldn't do a whole book by myself so that's where I brought in Tressa. So Sean did writing for the text pieces yes. you guys shared the drawing chores yep. what what's the so, so that's the breakdown of the creative endeavors but what did that look like was there did everybody do a little writing did you pitch ideas for monsters or was that all you? Um, okay now when we first had a meeting about this uh, Tressa and Justin were like okay we got these. We got some monsters that we've already made. There's like four monsters already done. But after that, they were like, we still need 46 more to come up with. <laughs> and so they was like, yo, that's on you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. We're gonna get, we're gonna start drawing these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just tell us what to draw. And, and so from there, um, but what 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 they did though that was cool. Well, they gave me a list of like cities and counties. Okay. And so, they're, so they're based on actual geographic mm -hmm. locations. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And something I would try to research to see if I could find familiar things in those towns or counties to work with in order to create like a little mini history sure. for each monster. So, so by the 50th one, are you, are you like, uh, his Boyle County, he's giant Boyles. Like, are you running out of... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> good one. No, okay. that is a good one. Don't that's, you, a, that's not free. Yeah, no, so, okay. no. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta get the rights for that one. No, Trademark, let's <laughs> rock. No, no in, in all seriousness, they gave me so many, so many places. It was more of a thing of, for me, the towns and cities were great. It was just that, okay, we can't have the same type of monster twice. So it, no you, giant lizard appeared twice, and he, so it, the the kind of animal avatar needed to be different. Right, right, right. And that, that was the challenging part for me. Are there fifty animals? I don't know. I don't. Well, like probably, you know, probably not. Between like you know animals and insects, and even like we have a don't we have like a like a big old like Granny Smith apple? Yes, we have an apple. Yes. So we have a fruit. Was an that animal, the fiftieth one? Insect. <laughs> you're like, oh, I don't yes. Care. It's an apple. 
There's a bourbon barrel. There's a bourbon barrel. Yes. Yes. There's a train. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. Yeah. So, so that kind of leads wow. into, yeah. and I, I told Justin and Tress beforehand, like I wanted this mostly to be kind of right straight down the middle, just like for anybody who's not into kaiju or comic material, I wanted this to be accessible. Yeah. But I do have one question that I'm really proud of. All so right. um, this is it. So this is <laughs> this go. is not you're not you're just gonna be able to maybe you can whip off answers if you can I'll be surprised uh, or pleased. Uh, so, so Godzilla and, uh, and a lot of uh, the Japanese kaiju came about in a time and were inspired kind of by uh, nuclear technology. Mm -hmm. so, so in America, nuclear technology creates superheroes. Uh, Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Hulk, they, they all were these positive, heroic uh, manifestations of the nuclear age and because, because we had nothing but good feelings about nuclear power. In Japan, because of the attack on Hiroshima, their visions of nuclear power are much darker. And so these kaiju that they created were these mythological creatures, mythological in the Joseph Campbell sense, that they represent ideas bigger than, themsel bigger than themselves. Specifically, Godzilla represents the destructive power of nuclear energy. Yes. And I say all that, I know you guys know that, but I want the viewers to know how smart I am. So that's why I said all that. Um, so Kentucky Kaiju, obviously Kentucky doesn't have that negative relationship with nuclear power. Is there, do you imagine an overarching thematic tie-in for all of these characters? Like what would, what would be the, the mythology behind Kentucky Kaiju? And is it different for everyone or is there a larger, um, a larger theme driving this? So there, there is some interconnection with some of the kaiju. Yeah. There, there is, some, there is some. Not, not too much. Not too much because, uh, with the exception of like maybe four or five kaiju, there are also, in, with certain kaiju, they were actually created um, by said city or by said city or county because of governmental law to try to find ways to combat evil kaiju. Trying to fix a problem. They try to fix a problem by you know creating kaiju to help solve the problem. Sometimes it was successful. Sometimes not. Like, there's that type of, like, uh, I guess, like a linear style history of things that connect. But besides that, a lot of the monsters, some of them you don't know where they came from. Like, say, for instance, we have a dolphin kaiju in Kentucky. That seems a little out of place. Yeah. Yes, yes. But, <laughs> but we do have zoos and an aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> So is the dolphin in Newport? Is that? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Where, where did we put the? Where did we put the dolphin? I cannot remember. You drew it. I did. I did draw it. Um, but I can't remember. He's, well, where he we'll came look from. it up. We'll yeah. put it in the show notes. There was, but no, there was no sort of um, statement or or any anything like that. Like the genesis of it was, I just wanted to draw giant monsters. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really. Beautiful. That's yeah. what better reason. You know, I mean, because because Tress and I, we and we both drawn comics, so we've both been in the comics field. Sean has written a bunch of comics, so we had we'd already done that. Yeah. And I just wanted to draw big, full-page pictures of cool-looking giant creatures. Uh, we do have we we've covered a lot of topics with Lex Rocks. We've done music, we've done food, we have done some comic stuff. Uh, I, I was assume the comic portion of our viewership probably a little smaller, just because it's more of a niche audience in general. Mm -hmm. um, so I think a lot of people will be surprised to find out Lexington has a comics community as far as people creating and making comics. Expand on that. Tell, how did you guys get into the community? How big is it? What is, tell me a little bit about the community. I mean, I just, I met a couple of other artists here, um, man, probably 10 years ago, eight, nine, 10 years ago. And through them, I met other people and then met other people and it, was as really as easy as that, mm -hmm. and then meeting Tressa and finding out that she was an artist, and then Sean moved from Ohio, and and he had mentioned you know he was a writer, he was into comics, so it was this weird, nice storm yeah. of of finding these people. We were it's like we were all swirling around each other, and then we just managed to bump into each other, and you know. It also helps that we've got. A Comic Con now here in town. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so yeah. it's like we all get together every year, and it's like it's usually the first show that we do every year. So it's like a big homecoming. Finally, That's nice. come out of hibernation from the winter and get to see everybody. And so that helped a lot to meet other local people who are making art and, and making comics. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for taking a little time to talk. And uh, I've I've read Kentucky Guide You. I really enjoy it. 
So good job, and thank you all very much. Thank you.